y'all welcome and or welcome back to my channel i'm bessie nicole and today i have some new black owned products for y'all uh, these products are new to sephora and i've been wanting to check out this brand for a while i only have a couple products because you know this ain't cheap but uh i did get a couple products from the one and only Danessa Myricks child. She is an amazing, outstanding makeup artist. She has had her own line for a, quite some time and now she's in Sephora. So um, you can pick up her products from Sephora and also her website, DanessaMyricks.com. I'll link everything below. Okay, so purchase, I placed my order on Sephora on March 22nd. I received it on the 25th, so I got the color fixed. These retail for $18 and you get 0.34 fluid ounces. Now the color I really wanted was cocoa, but I like chocolate too. So I got that one. Um, and also, let's see. Okay y'all, so I have forgot where I put uh, Vanessa's illuminating veil, but so we have the illuminating veil and there's quite a few shades in this and I'll post the shade range for these. I got the shade, this is in the shade Goddess. So what I'm gonna do to try it out, um, I, do, I did prime my face with the Beauty Bakery Hydra Silk Primer. And what I'm gonna do is just put half, uh, I'm gonna put some of the veil like up under my foundation and some of it on top, just because I wanna see, you know, if there's a difference with each of them. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. A lot of the times she just uses her fingers. So yeah, and this one retails for $22 and you get 1.6 fluid ounces. Okay, so there's just one pump and I'm just gonna, it's quite, it's quite a lot. I could probably use this for both of my face. So this is a really nice goldish, color here yeah all right let me see and i recently just did a show i just thought it was dope that the makeup artist that was doing my my makeup she had some of danessa's products and i think she used exactly this on my on my face and i told her i was looking at this product and i was thinking about purchasing it but i kind of wanted to try it out first and see you know how it will look I don't know, I'm just gonna put a little bit more. And I know with Vanessa, she, her thing is just letting the skin speak for itself, you know? She's really big on illuminizing, like not the whole matte look. Your skin should be youthful or look youthful and plump. So, and it doesn't do that, you know, if it looks dry and super matte. So, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna apply my foundation. And I'm also gonna apply my foundation with my hands as well, in honor of Danessa. And I'm just using the Minted Stick Foundation in the shade D10. And I'm just gonna apply that. So on the right side of my face, I have the illuminating veil up under the foundation. And on the left, we'll just put it on top after I blend it out. Um, but Vanessa, Danessa was also saying like if you use your hands to apply the product, it warms it up and helps it to soak into your skin more. And I wanted to get her beauty oil, but child, thirty dollars for some oil. Mm, mm. I felt that one in my spirit. And I was like, nah. But it, it does have a lot of good reviews. I might get it eventually, but. But I've been watching a lot of her videos lately, like on YouTube and her Instagram is so dope. Like this, the artistry is like out of this world. Like she's super uber talented. Like she's super dope. You know, just watching her work is absolutely amazing. So here's the side with the illuminating veil up under. Here's the side with nothing, just foundation. So I'm gonna put the veil on top. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, 
Um, this is the side with the illuminizer on top. And this is the side with it up under the foundation. I don't know what side I like better. I don't know. Can y'all tell the difference? Yeah, I can't really tell. Well, yeah, this side is brighter than, you know, with it up under the foundation is more subtle. Both sides look nice. I guess it just depends on the look that you're going for, what you got going on. It looks good though. So I'm gonna use the Color Fix Shade Chocolate. Um, I'm just gonna put like the tiniest bit just because I wanna see you know, how this will spread. Um, I'm not using an eye primer. I just wanna go in with this shade. It's really pretty. It's almost kinda like, I wanna say burgundy. And this is the matte one. I did wanna try the gloss. Oh, yeah, the pigment. This is really nice. This is super, super, super. Yeah, this is it right here. And what I kind of want to do, I kind of want to just use it like all over my lid and just soften it up around the edges. I need a little bit more from my other eye. This is cute. I like it. Um, the color to me looks a little bit more intense with the brush opposed to my finger. And it dries down pretty quick. Like this one on this side, definitely dry down faster. And that's the only thing when you use your fingers, you have a little less control of the product. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this chocolate on my eyelid. And I wanna see how it looks on my lid. So, but I'm just gonna blend this out on my lid. So I'm just gonna throw on some mascara and this is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer. Kind of finish off the look. And this is the caffeine concealer from the lip bar. Um, I like this color. I think it's really, really pretty. It blended out really well, like around the edges. It blended out really good. Cause I put like the same amount, like focused on my eyelids and kind of like blended it up a bit. But I like this. It's like really sultry, sexy. I put a little bit on my um, bottom lash line also. So. Anywho, um, I'm gonna see how this looks. The only thing I have on my lips is lip balm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm. Um, I mean, I'm gonna put a little bit of this chocolate on my lips. And I'm gonna see how it look as a blush, just cause I wanna see. I don't know, it's kind of giving me like plum vibes, not necessarily chocolate brown, but I like it, it's nice. And I'm gonna see how it looks 
as a blush I just use the little smallest smallest amount and I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks because this can be used as an eyeshadow on your lips and also on your face Okay, so this is how it looks as a blush, but you have to use like the smallest, tiniest amount. I see it's already drying. It's already drying up. Hmm. Can it be used as a contour? Might be a little bit too. Too red. Okay, yeah, that ain't it. That ain't it. Not for me. Let me just fix that. Yeah, I tried it. It ain't work though. It's all right. It, it, this chocolate gives definitely kind of like a deep burgundy type vibe. Because if you look at it like here on my cheek, it doesn't really, I don't know. It's not really giving me like brown, like deep chocolate. It's more like burgundy, but I really do like it um, on my eyes. I think it's really nice. I like it and I'm sure you could darken it up if you wanted to because I did kind of like sheer it out uh, from blending it out so let me just put a little bit more on my eye and I really wish this shade came in like a shimmer a glossy because I really wanted like to do like a glossy lid but I, I guess I could always get like the clear I can always get the clear and put that on top, which I think is what I'm going to do because I really like this shade chocolate. Y'all let me know what you think if you like it. Um, let me see. On my lips, it's nice, but I think it's like a bit too much with this look. So I would probably do like a more neutral look just so it wouldn't take away from the eyes. But I just wanted to see how it looks as a lipstick. Um, I'm just going to put on some minted. I don't know if I like that either. This is minted number five. Let me see. Let me add a liner. Let's see how it looks. I don't know what you think, Lauren. Should I do a different lipstick? If you do a different lipstick, which one would you do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. Mm. You want to do like a light color? Since yeah. You're so dark? Mm hmm. So do pink. No, not a color though. Let me put this back on. Let's just see. What is that? The chocolate? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, it's cute. I like it with that. You think it's so? It's cute. You like it? Yeah. One thing I don't like about this is that there's no, like, cap or anything to go on top. So if you're like traveling with it, you just gotta make sure it's secure so that, you know, like nothing hits the pump for it to come out. Um, I did add just a tad bit of eyeliner from, who this? Crayon Case, the liquid eyeliner. It's all right, I just prefer like a felt tip and I don't know where my pack McGrath is, but what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of the Illuminizer to my inner corner for like an inner corner highlight. Seeing how it looks. It dries down super fast. This is nice. The chocolate has dried down on my lips. It's a tad bit patchy.
just a tad. Um, and I did wipe off the, I had on a lip balm and I did wipe that off before, but this is how it looks on the lips. I think it's super cute. Really sultry, giving me very much vampy, sultry vibes. Um, really nice fall color, I think. You could use it like in your inner crease. Yeah, so this is, it's nice. I like it. The only con I would say is the price. Like you don't get a lot of products for the price, but you can do a lot with it. For this, this is nice too. I just wanna see how it looks on my skin. That's what I'm probably gonna be using it for anyway. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me do it on my collarbone so y'all can see that there. So if you wanted to use it like on your body, I think that looks really good. Yeah. I think in person you can kind of see like the shimmer particles, like if you were to wear it like on your body or on your face, but you can't really, they don't really show up like on screen. Um, I think it, it looks good as a blush too. So, I don't know if the illuminating veil did anything. Like I can't really, I can't really see it. I think it looks better like on my body, if you can see it on my, on my, uh, what's these called? Lord have mercy, Jesus. These right here. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I'm tired. So yeah, I think it looks good on my skin. So, yep. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about this look from Danessa Myrigs. Comment down below. Let me know if you tried any of her products. Do you suggest anything that I should try next by Danessa? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.